In this lesson, we'll look at creating stairs by component. So to get started, let's create a new Revit project from the architectural template. Again, if you're using Architecture 2014, select the architectural template link on the left, or go up to the large R, click it, hover over new, and then select project. Again, choose the architectural template and then click OK. Now, the reason we started with this template is because it already has predefined criteria that we're going to use to create this staircase. If I look at my project browser in the lower left, two levels are created, level one and level two. To see the distance between those two levels, let's double click the east elevation. What displays are the two level lines and the distance between those two levels. So I can see there's 10 feet of distance between the levels. Now, if we recall from previous exercises, when we create these staircases, if we're using a maximum rise of seven inches, it will divide 10 feet by seven inches, and that's the number of stair risers, or steps, if you will, we'll have between level one and level two. So to get started, let's go back to the level one floor plan, and we'll create our stair. To do that, in the project browser in the lower left, under floor plans, simply double click level one. Again, we do this because typically you draw your staircases from the lowest level to the highest level. To start our stair by component, let's go to the stair tool in the circulation area of the ribbon, almost in the middle, click the drop down by stair, and then choose stair by component. Again, the ribbon will change, displaying various criteria for creating our stairs. Now, looking at the property bar on the left, we can see under constraints, our base level is set to level one, top level is set to level two, confirming what we just said about the stair being drawn from level one to level two. The stair type is this assembled stair, seven inch max riser, 11 inch tread. Now, looking right above that on our options bar, our run is set to center, meaning whatever points I click, those will be defined by the center of the staircase. Width of the staircase is three feet, and for this example, we're going to just draw a straight run stair so there really is no landing for this example. Over toward the right on the ribbon, run is selected, and in the component area, straight is selected, meaning we're going to create a straight run staircase. Now, to create these staircases by component and kind of showing you the difference between this and sketch, let's go ahead and get started. So click any point on your screen, doesn't matter, anywhere in the white area, and start to drag your mouse to the right. Now when you do that, you may need to zoom in as the pictorial of what's happening is really small. Now as you drag your mouse from the point you picked, first off, since the location line was set to run center, the point you picked was centered in the run of the staircase, right in the middle, versus the right or the left. As you drag your mouse to the right, it's actually showing you several things. One is a total outline of the straight run stair that would go from level one to level two. Also, as you drag, you'll see the riser lines created and a dimension from the very first to the current one where you're at. At the very bottom of the staircase or below the staircase, it's telling you how many risers were created and how many remain. You also see a center line just for guidance when you create this. Now, if you move the mouse around, you'll see you can actually create the stairs off of a reference angle. Or if we had other geometry around this, we could dimension to that as too, i.e. like walls or other types of building elements. For the straight run stair though, just simply drag beyond the end of the overall staircase. And what you'll notice is the riser count stops. It's saying the total amount is being created, no more left, and you don't see any more riser lines being created. So if this was what you wanted, all you have to do is simply left click your mouse and it creates that straight run staircase. Now we'll go into that a little more in the chapter covering create run stairs, but this is more of just along the lines of creating a stair by component. Now what that really means is you're creating this staircase entirely. I'm not sketching any lines. I'm not making any type of artistic detailing to the stair where it may fan out or it may be curved. Those are all stair by sketch. And this could be a straight run stair, a winder, a U-shape, spiral, or a combination of those. What you see here is basically a count of risers with an arrow pointing in the direction that the straight run staircase goes. Finally, the last step is to simply complete the staircase. Easiest method is to just click the green check mark on the ribbon, 
and the staircase is created, and it appropriately places in the annotation, the up, if you will, and the direction of the staircase going up, and also creates the hidden lines for any staircase above or below your cut line. Then the next lesson, we'll look at creating stairs by sketch.